his behalf. Charlie owns a 7-0 set record on Vladen, including a win earlier today, but it's going to be the Bayo. The, that's weird because he was just, he was actually trash talking Bayo earlier, uh, I think this morning. I think alongside Fox, Charlie's Fox and Bayo just sort of revived from the beginning of the game. He's giving these characters like second and third and fourth opportunities and We'll have to see how it works out here. Yeah, especially with a, uh, with a player such as Charlie. I believe he can afford to do these picks, even even when he's in Winter Side of Grand Finals. Mm -hmm. He has a chance to, just, uh, to test them out and to learn what Vladin wants to do to his characters in uh, in Grands. It seems like Vladin really wants to get Bayonetta uh, Bayonetta's first stock as quickly as possible as well, but Charlie's not letting that happen with all these strings he's been throwing out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, tries to get the extension on the up tilt, not able to connect, a little bit too far for it. Up tilt in the nair from Charlie. I like these nairs from Charlie, just forcing Vladin to not jump. Alright, he's fishing. Okay, he gets the fair, not gonna go for a back air. I like it, but not able to get the Dancing Blade 1 to connect properly. Gets around with the backs, with the bats within. Charlie trying to land with a, uh, with a Witch Time, and Vladin not able to get the kill, but there's the F tilt getting him off the side there at 120-something. Sitting at 167. Bayo, of course, a character that can struggle with kills, but no struggles to be had there with that back air. Back air, probably her only only aerial tool at the moment that kills consistently, I believe. Mm -hmm. All right, not able to get the second hit of Nair there, but still backing up to center stage, trying to hold it and pushing him back out with a fair. These, this is really good neutral play from Vladin. Starts things off with a double witch twist though. Very nice, gets the extra damage from holding on to the up air. Excellent, perfect shield into up tilt and able to get another juggle started. Wow, very nice percentage placed onto uh, onto Vladin here. And very good call out on the side B there. I believe it was afterburner kick. Yeah, it just repels him back with the F smash. Nice call out on the jump as well. Getting him with a fair, he's not dead yet, but he has his number. Runs up and attempts to go for the shield grab instead of throwing out a hasty option. Alright, gets him with a back air. Definitely, definitely what he was going for. Returning fair, Charlie a bit late with the up tilt. Alright, not gonna opt for any tilts out of shield. I like it, just going for the down tilts instead. Probably should have countered on that witch twist. But nonetheless, Vladin still has the ledge traps on deck, getting him on a neutral getup with the F tilt. Excellent parry into down tilt. And are we going to be seeing another witch twist? Not quite as he falls out of the afterburner kick. Tries to get him with bullets, not going to connect. Gets him with the grab and four throws. Very nice. Just continuing to hold on to center stage. Trying to go for an up air? No, going uh, to miss there. Bats within Whoa. and gets around the shield breaker too. Up smash right afterward. Bats and then which which time? How fortunate for Charlie. All right. Oh, tries tries to take a second time. Not gonna get it, but he gets him on the tech read and gets him with the dancing blade. Yeah, no damage taken onto that final stock. That. That's just the result of a couple of missed techs of frustration, and that time Charlie was just so focused on the tech in place that he didn't even have time to consider the tech options. Yeah, and Valadin's really good at that. Lucina and Marth thrive off of high percent down tilts, mm -hmm. and their tech reads right after that. Um, if the opponent can't consistently tech, the Marth or Lucina, mostly Lucina, will be able to abuse that and get the kill as Valadin did in that last stock. Alright, switching to his main in this game, Charlie goes to Wolf. 
Dancing Blade. Charlie has been using these Firewolves from above the ledge just to avoid the two frames a lot more, particularly today. I know it's been something he says he's been working on in the past month or so, and gets around the counter off stage too. That's that was actually a very good uh, down air as well on the jump from uh, from Charlie, actually forcing Vladin to not to not be able to hit him uh, as he was getting on the jump. Oh, gets him with a nair, and no, is he gonna make it? He does make it with wolf flash. After not gonna seal the stock just yet, and oh, okay. A little bit iffy there, but still gets him after the end lag of Wolf Flash. Yeah, just went for the wrong angle there if he was, uh, if he was thinking of the Wolf Flash, and Charlie made to pay for it. He was a bit high for a Wolf Flash, honestly. I mean, if you angle it down, you probably can make it if you wait just a couple of milliseconds after. I respect the up smash attempt, however, he charged a little bit too long. Alright, tries to get him with, this, uh, with the side tilt there, not going to be able to connect. Yeah, at that point, you just need to go for up tilt. I, it's a tiny bit quicker, and even with a thinner hitbox, you're really not going to have the, enough time to throw out an up smash on top of the platform. Again, f -tilt is not connecting for Charlie here. He's going to go for the Firewolf. Charlie doesn't seem... There we go. Gets him with the, with the dash attack there. I'm not sure. Is it the like the starting hit of dash attack or like the, the lingering hit of dash attack that sends him flying uh, to the side? Uh, it's... It's sort of like different hitboxes at different stages of the animation. I yeah. believe the best one is right at the beginning, but you want that outstretched part of the foot. Yeah, okay. Because I believe the one at the beginning is the one that sends straight up. The inward one does, yes. Alright, tries to get... Oh, he gets him... He gets him with a nair there. He stuffed out so many options, even using his laser to make sure that he didn't jump. Uh, uh, yeah, he didn't jump. Pokes his foot through with a Firewolf, and Dash Attack not quite going to connect, but does do the advantage of getting him out of danger. Alright, tries to land with Nair, but that cross-up not going to work. Gets him with a turnaround Dolphin Slash out of shield there. Ba back air going to catch him out of his jump. I don't think he's going to die yet. Charlie, no jump, but back onto stage here. Vladin trying to find an answer for Charlie here. First Nair. I like the down smash attempt there, but it was not to, meant to be. And quick tech roll in from Charlie. Able to play this bait and punish playstyle a lot more easily when he has this percent lead. I gonna get stuffed out by the down air on the attempt there. And he's trying to get this kill with the dash attack. Again, setting up neutral. Catching him on the whiff fair with the up smash. Very nice call out from Charlie there. Excellent work. That up smash does low profile with a couple of hits, but that time Charlie was so far back that I'm not quite sure it would have connected in the idle animation anyway. Alright, it's going straight back to the wolf here and back to Lucina as well. Seems like Vladin has his answer and same with Charlie all right pushing him out with the nair and fares and getting the downward hit on the dancing blade there a nice tech on the firewolf tech roll out but Vladin able to go for the dash attack afterwards angles his shield up to avoid the retreating fair and the returning fair definitely trying to go for for the fair extensions here but continues to juggle him with these up airs Ooh, gets him with the Wolf Flash there. Not going to be kill or killing just yet. I mean, it's not a Charlie set without a Wolf fla without a Fair Flash. I don't point. think it's a Charlie set without a Suicide Wolf Flash. All right, again, missing on the counter there. Just a little bit too far forward for him to catch a Fire Wolf. There we go. Gets a tech. Charlie, very nice conversion off of the up smash. And I love the decision for Charlie to go for that Fire Wolf to the right of him, consciously, no. rubbing himself no. up against the side of the stage, knowing that you're either going to be putting yourself in either a situation where you're getting around the counter or putting yourself within an opportunity to tech in the first place. Yeah, Charlie is playing really smart on this game. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, just okay. as you say it. <laughs> Charlie playing a little bit too antsy in, uh, while I was saying that. <laughs> yeah, a bit too smart for his own good there. 
Honestly, if it were anyone else, I don't think they would have had an answer like that. I mean, if you're Valadin in this instance, you know that Charlie's going to go for something ballsy at some point. And definitely. Have that, to be ready for it. Yeah, that is definitely Charlie right there. Definitely loves the flash. Oh, gets the F tilt on the attempted back air. Charlie trying to wall out with the back airs here. And Valadin missing the landing up air. I like the fade back and the down tilt that Valadin's been doing so far on the ledge. Doesn't complete the Dancing Blade knowing that it would have put him only into further disadvantage. Jumps over laser, jumps over the second one. Is Charlie going to throw out a back air? Yes, he does. Yeah, great call. For I believe that was a bit obvious with his back turn because reverse up smash nowhere near the percent window. Oh, he Dancing saw the sparks blade. off of the Dancing Blade, not quite the kill. Very nice, going deep for the counter there. He has the wolf flash and not going to catch it. Yeah, picks the wrong angle there. Charlie going to be down to his final stock a moment after he sent Valadin to his. All right, Valadin trying to keep him out with this fair. Nair walls gets him with the Dancing Blade 4 there. Fair Nair, F tilt. What a good damage combo from Charlie there. Still keeping him on the ledge with all of these options he's been throwing out. Going back to center stage, gets him with the Nair, no jump. Down smash, not going to connect, but does get the F tilt off the parry. Ooh, not the best DI I've seen. Yeah, that's going to be the game. Vladin wasn't in a position where he could use the Dolphin Slash early and survive, and Charlie knew of that. The awareness led him to go for that lingering Nair off stage, and Charlie within one game of taking this entire tournament. Yeah, Charlie. Try doing well, holding on to the momentum for himself here. Stuffing on Valadin's options, making sure that Valadin doesn't feel safe, even in neutral. Three, two, one, start out. Very smart, just going without a hitbox. Going for the straight grab there. Jumping over to Dancing Blade and the up tilt. Charlie is playing so well right now. I mean, there are some days where Charlie's just feeling himself. And if you're going for fair to fair off stage and you're getting it three times in the first 30 seconds, that's when you know you're starting this game well. Definitely. Charlie playing so evasive yet aggressive against Vlad in here. Getting him with a very tip of Wolf Flash and killing him just like at 100, I believe. Yeah, even with the quote unquote weak hitbox, that's going to be more than enough to take Valadin off of that right blast zone. All right, going to Wolf Fire there. And no, not going to kill him just yet. But does he have? No, doesn't have his jump and dies. Not able to connect with the Wolf Flash. Farrington Nair. Very nice. Catches him on the neutral getup with another fair. Is he going to jump? Yes. To get one juggle started and gets him right into the grab on top of the platform. Unfortunately, starting that grab on top of the platform just leads to a couple of more escape routes. Ooh, catches him with a back air. Not going to kill just yet. He gets a dolphin slash and he's going to make it back. Nice tech. Going to firewolf back to ledge. It seems like he tried to punish the in between Dancing Blade 2 and 3 and got hit by, by third hit. Very nice. Gets. All right. Another reminiscent of the first time Charlie went wolf in the set. Just getting the parries on the down air with the F tilt punished right afterwards. Shields out the nair. And Whoa. Blaster Nair off stage. It's an edge guard that Charlie loves. He's been a massive proponent of. Yeah, Blaster is such a polarizing uh, neutral tool, especially when you try to use it to end uh -oh. up. Oh, that's going to be the game. No, no it's not. He's alive. If only, if only. In a perfect world. Spoke too soon there, but that Nair into flash attempt. I think Charlie, we were all rooting for that one to happen. If, if Aladdin hadn't DI'd out there, definitely would have gone into spike hitbox, and that would have been the game. But that back air going to take it very fresh off the pan. He'll have to go for the simple jump read instead. Congratulations to Charlie DeKing. Continues the streak. Eight consecutive set victories off of Aladdin. He is your Hollywood Action Tuesday's number 94 champion. Very. <laughs> uh, damn, I can't.